Audacity 3.0.3 Spectrograms Continuing my coverage of Audacity 3.0.3 We're looking at the updated spectrogram view in this edition of Stuart's Audacity Tips. What an exciting time to be an Audacity user. There's so much going on at Audacity Team HQ, a completely virtual space that exists in my mind, and we get to be there to see it come about. Please pass this along to anyone you know who uses Audacity or is thinking about using it. Before I get to the subject of this edition, let me make a clarification. In the last edition, I said that Audacity for Windows is 64-bit as of version 3.0.3. .3. That statement is slightly misleading. I should have said that Audacity for Windows is available in a 64-bit edition. The 32-bit version is still available as well. The rest of what I said with regard to plugins and the 64-bit version is unchanged. So, on to the topic at hand, spectrograms. This is very exciting territory and much work is being done to advance the capabilities of spectral editing in Audacity. The spectrogram view is an alternate way to visualize audio data. Where the waveform view displays the data in terms of amplitude or volume on the vertical axis over time on the horizontal axis, the spectrogram displays the data in terms of frequency or pitch on the vertical axis over time on the horizontal axis. Additionally, the colors in the spectrogram display the amplitude of the audio at a given frequency. So the spectrogram adds one more dimension of analysis and, in effect, rotates the view so that the y-axis values represent pitch instead of volume. One of the most noticeable changes in Audacity 3.0.3 .3, and an important change with respect to future editions and spectral features is the color palette that's used to display spectrograms. This doesn't sound like much of a change, but if we look at a comparison of the old colors and the new, it's clear that the new color palette makes it easier to see the data against the background. It's also easier to see variations in the data colors. Here's a piece of audio displayed in multi-view mode with the old spectrogram colors. And here's the same audio displayed in multi-view mode with the new spectrogram colors. The new color palette not only looks better, but it more effectively conveys data. And that's the real point. It's going to be awesome to see what the team does in coming versions with this palette as a foundation. Hope this helps. I'm Stuart.